art friends it's october 8th and today we're going to draw a cute broom let's get started on our cute broom when i think of cute brooms i always think of fantasia the movie um, that was the first movie i ever went to see in the movie theater with my mom I remember so vividly I must have been like five years old and we went to see Fantasia and there's all those um, dancing brooms oh and they just get carried away if you haven't seen it I won't ruin it but yeah so Fantasia and the broom sticks the brooms I need to say no more Brooms are actually highly symbolic and uh, some people even consider them to be uh, sort of powerful objects. Like there's a lot of folklore. If you leave a broom by your front door, it'll keep away negative energy or unwanted visitors. Um, if you store your broom bristles up, it'll bring good luck. Mm, it can sweep out negative energy from your home. So that's a big part of cleanliness is getting rid of all the stuff you don't want right <laughs> so traditional sweeping includes sweeping away negative energy and if you're into making things growing things and making things the broom corn for that I use for my brooms is a type of sorghum and it's really easy to grow and if you are at Swifty and my wedding, then you know that's the broom we jumped over when we tied the knot. So there's a lot of special times with that broom there. And this broom um, seems a little worried. Perhaps there's more of a mess ahead than it is really prepared to deal with. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> but our tools are such willing helpers, aren't they? for October 8th. Thank you, Broom, for helping us keep our homes and our energy clean. Thanks for stopping in, friends. 